People were just jumping off cliffs and doing a vintage version of sending it. David, we need to go back in time and save these people. Just yikes. All right, well, let's talk about the first people who ever attempted to fly. Pilotpedia intro. <laughs> Anyone who's already in flight training is already pretty much aware of a famous book called The Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. That book has a really long title, so pilots call it the P-Hack, but I'm trying to start a trend where we call it the FAC instead. Yeah, I know. FAC. The first part of chapter one actually talks about the first people who attempted to fly, and they were known as birdmen. These guys were often known for strapping wing-like structures to their arms and jumping off a cliff and hoping to fly. Now hear me out. When you rid your mind of the understanding of physics and how planes fly, and no, it's not magic, it actually makes sense why these guys thought that strapping wings to their arms and jumping off a cliff would actually work. The fact yeah. says it perfectly. Logic dictated that if the small muscles of birds can lift them into the air and sustain them, then the larger muscles of humans should be able to duplicate the same thing. Unfortunately, at the time, people didn't understand the intricacies of birds, such as they had mesh muscles, and they had parts of their body that act like flaps or spoilers, or the fact that pigeons aren't real and it's a part of government drone program. I mean, have you ever seen a baby pigeon? I'm just kidding. Thousands of years passed, the people continuously jumping off cliffs, attempting to fly, hoping that they could fly like a bird better than the last guy. Even Leonardo da Vinci proposed a bunch of flying machine ideas, but they were all flawed designs because he clung to the idea that humans should be able to fly by having bird-like wings. Eventually, in 1655, a mathematician named Robert Hooke came into this wild party of attempted flights with some buzzkill news. The human body simply does not possess the strength to power artificial wings. So what is humanity's next step towards aviation then? As inventors and scientists face the reality that humans can't simply attach bird-like wings to their arms and take flight, they looked for new solutions. Little did they know, a flying contraption had already been in use for the past 2,000 years. Deep in the east, a part of the mystical and ancient lands of the Chinese, nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering bamboo forests, the push towards the studies of aerodynamic principles and material technologies lie in a child's toy, a kite. That's a story for another day. Maybe episode three of Pilotpedia. Fact.